All right, man, peace. So for many of you brothers out there who may have studied history or political science, you'll understand that there's a difference between a king and a kingmaker. Now, the vocation of a king and the vocation of a kingmaker are disparate but often interconnected. A king normally is on the front line. He shows his face. He has no problem interacting with the public or engaging in confrontation because that's consistent with his personality. He wants the power and the prestige overtly. He wants the fame. The kingmaker tends to hide in the background and he oftentimes bears even greater influence than the king does because he has the ear of the king. Now you have many people who have come through various points in history who have been kings and you have others who have been kingmakers. Very rarely do you have people who have been both. In the sports world, I have to give Kobe Bryant credit. He has been both. He's been both a king and he currently is a kingmaker with the Los Angeles Lakers. And like most kingmakers, when the going gets tough, they get hiding. The king is expected to, when the going gets tough, they get going. The kingmaker, when the going gets tough, they get hiding. And that brings us to the topic of this video, which is going to be volume four in my series on Mr. Kobe Bryant. Of Kobe Bryant once again is lying to his fan base. As usual, he lies to his fans all the time. But that's consistent with and a part of the overall personality archetype of the kingmaker. They're going to say and do whatever they have to say and do to disavow themselves of a falling kingdom. And up until the Anthony Davis trade, the LA Lakers would have been considered a falling kingdom. And it's not good for Kobe's brand to be directly associated with them. Lance Stevenson, one of the more flamboyant bench players with the LA Lakers, granted an interview to TMZ in which he stated that Kobe Bryant comes to practice all the time. Kobe Bryant has refuted that sentiment. Not only, not only has he said that he does not come to practice, he says he's never been to a Laker practice <laughs> since LeBron has been there. Now, who do I believe? I believe Lance Stevenson because Lance has no reason to tell a lie like that on camera. But it's very obvious that Mr. Kobe Bean Bryant does not want to be associated with the Lakers at all, at least until they start winning. I guarantee you that had the Lakers won 58 games last season, and went to the third round of the playoffs or even made the finals, Kobe would have said, yeah, I've been to the Laker practice 15, 16 times, told the guys certain things, spoke to LeBron, spoke to Rich Paul. I guarantee you Kobe Bryant would have stated that. But because the Lakers thus far have been a sinking ship, at least until they were able to trade for Anthony Davis, he does not want his brand to be impacted with anything having to do with losing, even though the Lakers losing streak started at the end of his tenure. So anyway, they're going to talk about it, and I'm going to chime in. All right, guys, so we just heard from Lance Stevenson on Kobe, but Stephen A., uh, what do you have to say about Lance's comments? Well, what I... That they're the truth. ...say is a quote from Kobe Bryant. I spoke to him yesterday. He says, quote, I have never been to a single practice. <laughs> I need one of you Kobe Bryant fanboys out there to help me out with this. Do you believe that Lance Stevenson is a pathological liar or do you believe that Kobe Bryant is a pathological liar? It's one of the two. There is no middle ground there. Either Lance Stevenson is lying or Kobe Bryant is lying. And if Lance Stevenson is lying, please give me the reason why Lance would lie. Unless he's high as a kite <laughs> or he was just blitzed out of his damn mind when TMZ tried to get him to answer that question as he was heading out of the airport. Those were his exact words. Um... You know, obviously there's going to be people who believe he's lying. Like myself. I'm going to take him at his word. Of course you are, because Kobe Bryant has been a plug in the basketball world for you for the last 15 years. I've mentioned this in other videos. The reason why Stephen A. Smith was going so hard at Jim Buss four or five years ago is because it was obvious that Kobe Bryant was feeding him a bunch of information. Now, whether it was correct information, misinformation or disinformation, who knows? Either way, it worked because Jim Buss is no longer presiding over the, the operations of the L.A. Lakers. Jeannie Buss has taken over. The sex kitten herself. Because I don't have any proof that he's lying, number one. Number two, it's pretty easy to disprove. You know, if you say that you haven't been to a single practice, that's pretty, e that's pretty easy to disprove. I mean, you've got media members that, that, that cover, they're not inside the practice when it's going on, but they're right outside the door, wait for the doors to be opened, etc., etc. Lance Stevenson stated, and I quote, Kobe comes to practice all the time. That's what he said. It, it, but, but Kobe is not 
just smart. He's brilliant. So you have to also pick apart his words from time to time. When he In other words, Kobe Bryant tends to parse the truth. He tends to be very particular with his words in an attempt to try to separate himself from whoever it is is speaking about him, especially if the person that is speaking about him is someone that the public knows and who Kobe does not want to be associated with in any way. So to make a long story short, Kobe Bryant believes that Lance Stevenson is an idiot and he does not want anyone to believe anything that Lance Stevenson says about him. As I haven't been to it. Even if it's the truth. Go practice. That does not mean he hasn't been to the Lakers facility. It does not mean that he didn't have, you know, conversations with teammates. It doesn't mean that his detail, which is on ESPN Plus and stuff like that, that the kind of schooling that he provides to players, he's certainly not going to provide to those Lakers teammates. Cause God well, Stephen and Smith, here's the problem with your attempt to explain away the clear disparity between what Kobe Bryant stated and what Lance Stevenson stated. What's very obvious is that you must believe that there's something rotten in Denmark. Because are you telling me that Lance Stevenson does not know the difference between Kobe Bryant on details with ESPN and him showing up at Lakers practice? Is that what you want me to believe, Stephen A. Smith? Let me rewind his back a little bit. Was a few to be open, etc., etc. So, it, it, but but Kobe is not just smart; he's brilliant. So you have to also pick apart his words from time to time. When he says, I haven't been to a single practice, that does not mean he hasn't been to the Lakers facility. It does. Stephen A. Smith is talking about Kobe Bryant like someone might talk about Lex Luthor. For those of you who've seen Superman Part 2, Lex Luthor acted as a kingmaker. Remember, he was a great influencer over General Zod. And even after a while, General Zod started to distrust Lex Luthor because he realized that he was being manipulated. That's why I have to give Kobe Bryant credit. At one time, he was a king in the NBA. Now he's trying to be a kingmaker. Now, what's the reason behind some of his machinations? I do believe, as I've stated in the past, that he's trying to figure out a way to disarm Jeannie Buss and eventually get her to sell him the team. He knows that it's not going to happen right now because in order for you to be an NBA owner, you're probably going to have to be worth at least 2 to $3 billion at the very least to even think about it, to get a team of people together. Because the Lakers are going to break the bank. When and if Jeannie Buss ever does sell that franchise, they're probably going to sell for somewhere in the area of eight to nine billion dollars. That he didn't have, you know, conversations with teammates. It doesn't mean that his detail, which is on ESPN Plus and stuff like that, that the kind of schooling that he provides to players, he's certainly not going to provide to those Laker teammates because God knows a few of them need all the assistance that they can get. So I definitely think. I definitely think, I definitely believe it's plausible that Kobe could have talked to individual players about basketball. But I think the reason why Kobe felt the need to say that is because of something he had reiterated to me weeks ago. He don't have nothing to do with this Lakers mess. But Lakers got his own relationship with Jeannie Buss. They got their own thing going on with the Los Angeles Lakers right now. Yes, from what I understand, Rob Palenka definitely might have his own thing going with Jeannie Buss. <laughs> Amongst other members of the Lakers who may have some things going with Jeannie Buss. I told you, brothers, already, Jeannie Buss, the quote-unquote owner of the L.A. Lakers, was raised an MK sex kitten by her father. Once again, everything I'm saying is alleged. Do yourself a favor. Google Jeannie Buss and tell me what you see. When Phil Jackson came to be the new head coach of the Lakers in 1999, it's very clear to me that one of the promises that Jerry Buss made to Phil Jackson was that Phil Jackson will be able to do whatever he wanted with Jerry Buss's daughter. There's very little doubt about that in my mind. Jeannie Buss is like Tupac. She gets around. He ain't trying to get involved in any of that nonsense. And I think that's ultimately the message that he wants sent. So here I am. Um, so that's your job now? You're errand boy? You deliver the messages that Kobe Bryant once sent? I got you. Why don't you run your ass to the corner store and go pick me up a bottle of water and a bag of chips since you're running errands for dudes. Kobe, first of all, to what you said about how smart he is. Kobe is one of the smartest athletes I've ever encountered. In my dealings with him... Is that really a compliment, though? That's similar to saying you just saw the tallest midget that you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> He's one of the smartest athletes. It's very clear that he has a sky, I don't talk about, I'm not talking about basketball IQ, and I never know he never went to college, but he has a sky-high IQ. It well, I'm not quite sure what your IQ 
would have to do with whether or not you attended college. Education is different from intelligence. Intelligence is based on your perceptual abilities and the speed with which you learn. Education is what you've been indoctrinated with. He speaks three different languages fluently. He's also a couple of more on the side. Kobe's also devious. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe is, has a high IQ and he's focused on winning and everything, which is why he won five championships and an Oscar. without Shaq. It's why he is going to own an NBA team one day. Maybe the Lakers, like if that's what he wants to do, he's... It's very obvious to me that Max Kellerman is picking up on certain sentiments that I've picked up on as well. That being that Kobe has his eyes on the Lakers and he's playing chess right now. He's playing the long game. He needs to disarm Jeannie Buss. He has planted Rob Palenka within the organization. Rob Palenka is growing in prestige. And do not be surprised in seven or eight years, assuming that this society is still around in seven or eight years, that Kobe Bryant tries to purchase the LA Lakers and is successful. I originally thought that Magic Johnson would be the person who might purchase the Lakers. I stated that about two years ago. But it's also very clear to me that Magic is just not shrewd enough to be able to pull that off. And Jeannie Buss does not trust the intelligence of Magic Johnson. She trusts the intelligence of Kobe Bryant. An Academy Award, he's like everything he does, he does at a certain level. Now the question is this. Um, here we have Lance Stevenson saying one thing and Kobe Bryant saying another. So unless there's a misunderstanding, someone's lying. Unless, unless you're right, okay, or at, ve or at the very least misleading. It could be that Lance Stevenson... Max Kellerman, you, you know who it is. That's why you preface your statement by talking about how devious Kobe Bryant can be or how duplicitous he can be in expressing himself. So you know who's lying, dude. When asked the question, wanted to say the pro-Laker, pro-Kobe thing, and said, oh yeah, he's always, he, he's at all the practices, it could be he misspoke, he meant he's always around, but he used the word practice. It, and it could be that Kobe's doing what you're saying he's doing, he's being very specific with his language, or it could be that one or the other of them is lying. But here's the thing about Kobe Bryant. What do you say about LeBron James? He's passive aggressive, right? He wants to control the narrative and he does so passive aggressively. So for example, LeBron don't want to be known as a coach killer. He wants a new coach, obviously he wanted Ty Lue, but, but LeBron, there's big pushback from LeBron's camp about saying that publicly in the media, right? Don't say, because they don't want to be seen as a coach killer. I think also Kobe Bryant wants to do things unseen. He doesn't want people to see his fingerprints on the things he's doing, right? It's all Kaiser Sosa style. Ding. That's why I stated that he is now a king maker. That is what Kobe Bryant is. He is a king maker, or at least attempting to be. And he's been relatively successful thus far. He's only been in that field for the last three years. And many of the leaps that he has taken have been phenomenal, to be quite frank with you. Kobe gets mad if you talk about, I'm not, I have nothing to do with this Lakers mess. I'm coaching my daughter. I, I get it. Um, I never went to practice, but maybe you're right. Maybe he's being very specific with his language and being kind of slick about it. Kobe does things. He operates to get what he wants, and he does so without his fingerprints on it and behind the scenes. So... LeBron has a relationship with Clutch Sports, correct? Mm -hmm. Is there a sense in the media that LeBron participates in, 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 in a business sense of yes. the people that Clutch Sports represents? Yes. So, Well, no, there's not really a sense. I think that there have been outright admissions, even by former teammates of LeBron, that LeBron runs Clutch Sports. We saw Richard Jefferson on first take a few months ago state unequivocally that he believes that LeBron runs Clutch Sports. We've also seen Chris Bosh allude to it as well. So I don't think that that's just innuendo. I think that that's pretty much accepted as fact that has not been confirmed as of yet, allegedly. Wonder what's Kobe's relationship with Rob Palenka business-wise when Rob Palenka was an agent right now? I don't believe that Palenka could have developed a relationship. It's possible. But if you ask me, do I think it's likely that his relationship with Jeannie is so strong that it can withstand Magic Johnson? No, the only person I see who would have that kind of relationship and that kind of juice with the Lakers on the level of Magic Johnson is Kobe Bryant. That's how I'm connecting the dots. So Kobe well, make That's how the dots should be connected. Let me, but let, let me, let me chime in, first of all. Here yeah, go ahead and chime in and protect your Lord. <laughs> go ahead and protect your Lord, Kobe Bean Bryant. Stephen A. Smith is one of these obnoxious, toxic-ass Kobe Bryant fanboys. And they always lead with their emotions. I don't give a damn who gets upset about what I'm saying right now. They're always on my channel saying some dumb shit, trying to project like a damn chick does. 
I noticed that your commentary is always great. Until you talk about Kobe, then you get weird. You get emotional. Now shut up. Just shut your ass up. My, com- my commentary is the same about your boy as everybody else. You just can't deal with it. I've always said this, especially about the so-called black man. If you want to pull that demon out of him, talk about his favorite athlete, talk about weed, or talk about his favorite rapper. And you'll see his whole spirit come out, his whole demon come out. I don't like your analogy. I don't want to hear a damn word about LeBron James in this in this in this sense. Hold on. Here's where I don't hold on. To hear word, and I am I, I I this upon this, I'm an expert, and I can speak on this. Kobe Bryant doesn't use a whole bunch of tentacles to speak for him. Because Kobe Bryant doesn't trust anyone to speak for him better than he trusts himself to speak for him. So if Kobe Bryant has an issue, you will likely hear from him yourself. Whereas with LeBron, there are a whole bunch of people. Well, I should say that. That's not accurate. There's a few people that will reach out on his behalf to try and sort of navigate their way through manipulating the narrative to the best of their... I love this shit. When that old black ref cursed LeBron ass out. LeBron's down there. How you gonna call and follow me? I can't believe this. They brought me here to win, and your ass is trying to slow me down. Ref said, get your ass up out of my face. I'm not here to give you no damn call. Yo, fuck you. <laughs> All right, and that's not to say they're lying about anything, because they could be telling the truth. But he uses other people to do that more than Kobe. Go ahead, Kyle. Don't take none of his bullshit. Kyle Kuzma said, man, you haven't played defense all year. And you're trying to call out defensive sets? Get the hell out of my face. Never would. Kobe will tell you himself. Hey, time out. Oh, what? Hey, right there. But do you agree that Kobe also tries to manipulate the narrative? That's yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course he does. He's a manipulator. That's what it means to be a kingmaker. I do agree with that at times. But what I'm saying is... He tried to do it himself. Okay. That's all I mean by that. More so, direct. So, so, well, exactly. That's why I said I had a problem with the LeBron analogy. Because that's not LeBron. Oh, no, no, no. But that's, that's my, not LeBron. You're, that, no, no. <laughs> that's my point. They both try to manipulate the narrative. LeBron does it passive aggressively through emissaries. But that's a big difference. And Kobe does it more directly. No, that's not a big difference when we're speaking about whether or not Kobe Bryant is trying to manipulate the situation. Now, if the debate was over whether or not Kobe and LeBron go about their business in the same way, then of course, then you have to make that distinction. But we're just trying to get to the point of exactly what's going on. And right now, LeBron James and Kobe Bryant are king makers as well as kings. It's just that Kobe Bryant has left his kingship phase in his life in the past. LeBron's at the tail end of that time period. He's trying to prepare himself to be a king maker. But they both have the same mentality. The difference is just tactics. That's all Max Kellerman is trying to say. Have his fingerprints on it. Max Kellerman goes through three, four, five people to send his message. That's entirely different than Max doing it himself. Wait, wait, wait. That's a very significant That's, difference. You're talking about the means to an end. I absolutely identify that they have different means to the same end. In other words, are they both manipulative? And, and when you say that, it's because they're success-oriented. Well, 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 Businessmen are uh, manipulative. Uh, uh, right. They try to it's navigate tomato, position tomato, themselves. Tomato, tomato, tomato. If you say something about Max Kellerman, Max Kellerman will go on ad nauseum to make sure he articulates and elocutes his point to the point where you completely and fully comprehend. There's no crime in that. The fact of the matter is to be respected because you're willing to do it yourself as opposed to use four or five different people. To- right, but Stephen A. Smith, would you shut the fuck up, please, for a second? Because in all reality, the reason why you're trying to create all these red herrings is because your concern is protecting Kobe Bryant rather than establishing whether or not who is the liar here in this situation, which is what this conversation should be about. The conversation should be about whether or not Lance Stevenson or Kobe Bryant is lying because it's very obvious that one of them is lying. But because you have an agenda, as you stated at the beginning of the segment, that being that you're here to run errands and relay messages for Kobe Bryant, your Lord. That means that everything else that you say really cannot be taken seriously. It's very obvious that Max Kellerman is, is much more on the scent or on the trail of what this whole situation is actually about than you are. That being that Kobe Bryant is lying. And that's just a part of his character as a manipulator. He likes to control the narrative as Max Kellerman has already stated. 
whether or not he does it himself or he has an emissary do it, it really does not make a difference. And to be quite frank with you, if Max Kellerman really was on point, he would have refuted your sentiment that Kobe Bryant speaks for himself because it's very obvious that he has you speaking for him. For you. So that's a big difference. And the reason why that's relevant to this conversation is because when we talk about the Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant doesn't want to be associated with the mess that's going on. When well, that's strange because he was the prime initiator of the mess in the first place starting in 2014. Papa Lincoln was hired as the general manager. Kobe Bryant was on my show that day raving about Rob Palenka. Of course, because that's his pawn. He plays Rob Palenka in the LA Lakers organization. And I shouldn't even say that Kobe Bryant started the cesspool in 2014. He actually started in 2013. Okay, so we understand the relationship is close. But if Rob Palenka has represented Kobe throughout his entire 20 year career practically, it stands to reason that over the course of that time, since Kobe didn't play for five different teams, he only played for one team, it was the Los Angeles Lakers then. Yeah, he just tried to play for five different teams because he demanded to be traded three different times. 20 years, that Rob Palenka, it's plausible that he could have cultivated his own relationship with Jeannie Buss where there's things going on because over the course of 20 years, well, from what I understand, Rob Palenka has been cultivating the hell out of Jeannie Buss. <laughs> Man, I'd hate to be Jeannie Buss's maid. She probably got to change them damn sheets every day. Build your own relationship with her. Counselor, let me just ask you to take your lawyer's hat off for a second. I hear you and I agree you can plausibly make that case. I'm saying, what do you believe? I believe that Rob Palenka has his own relationship with you. Who the hell is Rob Palenka? I really wish that somebody would teach Stephen A. Smith how to pronounce words that end in A. And they created that mess amongst themselves, and that's why Kobe is distancing himself from it. When Kobe talks about supporting the Lakers, he's talking about the Lakers on the basketball court. I believe, okay, that's what you believe. I believe there's no way that Rob Palenka has more juice with Jeannie Buss than Magic Johnson has. I do believe maybe Kobe. All right, enough of... I agree with you, sir. I concur. Good job, Max Kellerman. When you're not spewing your liberal bullshit... You actually have some things to say on certain topics. So good job with this. But anyway, peace.